Everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us today on what is truly already a collector car. I have an assistant today, my friend Steele's with me, helping me uh, do a little business here and show you some of the great stuff about a collector car. And you say, well, Tone, how does anybody decide what's a collector car and what's not? So I'll give you my couple cents worth and you can decide whether a collector car is a collector car for you as well. So when you talk about cars that, let's say a company makes millions of a year, but this is one of only around 1,300, then that already makes it a collectible car. Throw in the fact that it's uh, been driven less than a thousand miles a year. That means somebody drove it as their third or fourth car. It was a collector car to them as well. And this car here, although it's amongst a lot of other supermodels inside the showroom, it is very different out on the road. This is a modern hot rod. That's why it was built. It was built to interpret like a 30, 40s or 50, so 30s or 40s street rod, right? But give you modern amenities. So parts for this car are very inexpensive because a lot of them are out of other Chrysler products during that time. This one here happens to have a couple nice upgrades. For instance, like it's got the chrome wheels on it. The color is a gray color. The Prowler red is awesome. And they make a couple kits if you want to remove the front bumpers. There's a fill-in piece here that gives you the turn signals as well and changes the whole front end of the car if you want to, and it looks really, really good. One of the things that might be new information to you is, I don't know if you know, but these cars here are built on the same assembly line by a team of technicians that built the Viper as well on an assembly line next to it, right? And so uh, Team Prowler builds these. They build them by hand. They're also painted by hand as well. And why you get a much better finish uh, than you would maybe on a stock car. That's why you can read the letters and the details and things like that. And there, it's one of the reasons why we do the video as well, because if you can see the crisp letters and what have you on here, it uh, gives you an idea of how the depth and things like that are on uh, the paint quality. All right, so I'd like to point out some of the stuff in here because in here you can see what makes these cars a lot different. So this car has a lot of aluminum. The aluminum chassis on it, right, is one of the pioneers of aluminum chassis. One of the reasons why it weighs uh, some around 2,800 pounds. Uh, the adjustable coil over suspension here, it's done by Coney. You can see that right in the front. The battery's up front too to distribute some of the weight around the car. Uh, the engine is a Chrysler Products uh, V6, so a lot of the parts are inexpensive along the way if you ever need them. You know, it makes 253 horsepower, and people say, well, why did I get the street rod? It only has a V6 engine in it. You'll be very surprised. At 2,800 pounds, this car moves very fast, uh, and the engine is plenty of power, not to mention the overdrive in there. And then you have modern stuff, too, like four-wheel disc brakes with anti-lock. You have uh, air conditioning and traction control and all the modern amenities that you wouldn't get in a 30 or 40s vintage street rod uh, that you could actually drive to the beach in, go out uh, on a vacation on, or just enjoy a nice evening out. All right, so I'd like to talk about parts of this car that make it so different than everything else, but I don't really need to. You can look at this car and tell it doesn't look like anything else that's out there, right? And then the soft top. The soft top to me is what makes this car so great looking. It's only this tall, right, compared to other convertible tops that are this tall, so it looks like it's already been chopped. The great thing about it too, rear defroster, glass rear window, it stows back here so you don't have to unclip it or put it some other place. Remember the early Vipers uh, didn't even have a soft top on them and then later on uh, they had a clip-on roof that would go in the back of the car and it's just a nice finished look when you're all done there. So come join me inside here because this is where you're going to spend most of your time and it's important that you get some of the stuff that goes in here why these cars are so great. They're just modernized but they're old school at the same time. You got that center mounted tack here like we would have done back in the day. You have overdrive automatic that you can also manually shift if you want to, right? And then uh, you can always bring a friend along with you. And nice here, leather seating, original Prowler floor mats. This has the upgraded uh, digital sound system, climate control with air conditioning, 150 mile an hour speedometer, and full array of gauges in there, right? So you got your tack here and you got your gauges just showing 16,309 miles on it. I mean, the interior is pristine. Somebody loved this car. And when you get it, you're gonna be like, wow, this thing is like virtually brand new inside. And that's exactly what you should think about when you're getting them. And that's why I love these cars that continue to go up in value. All right, my man Steele's helped me close up the video here. Listen, we're talking about low production, low miles, great looking, modern features, uh, and it's exceptional condition. All of the nice things like freshly painted calipers in red and the factory chrome wheels, knowing the fact that if you wanted to, they sell that bumper kit that I talked to you about online. It looks great. If you want to ask us, we'll send you the link to that and show you what a picture looks like without it. It's really a nice touch. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you how to get this Prowler into your life. Don't forget to share the video if you would with your friends. 
Subscribe to the channel so that you continue to get the feed. And if you would like it at the bottom, that'd help a lot too. Thanks.